It's been more than two years since New Mexico's longest-serving U.S. senator retired from office. In 2007, Pete Domenici said he was battling a degenerative and incurable brain disease. But today, he's still living in Washington, D.C. full-time, and he's taken on one of the toughest challenges facing the nation. People aren't quite sure, so let's make sure we tell them right now. I'm going on, on, on 79 years of age. You'd think Pete Domenici would be doing more relaxing these days, but the former senator is still inside the Beltway, and he's taken on a daunting project. As part of his work with the Bipartisan Policy Center, Domenici helped craft a plan to get the federal budget deficit and national debt under control. First, we said, is this a big problem? You bet. Everybody agreed. It was mammoth. It was a kind of thing like a war. And number two... How would you put it together? You put everything on the table, mm -hmm. everything, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. Nobody escapes being looked at. Why? Mm -hmm. It's because if we don't, something bad will happen to this great country. The Domenici Rivlin proposal, named for the senator and economist Alice Rivlin, pulls out all the stops to cut the debt. It even calls for a 6.5% value-added tax on goods and services, basically a national sales tax. And taxes, you're right, and, and revenue. increase. We, we said as Republicans on that commission, we're not going to be loved by Republicans, we're not going to be loved by conservatives. But isn't it easier to say this now and talk about tax increases and talk about this when you're not running for re-election? Because it doesn't seem like the well, ones in office are I, I talking about right. that. I think, I think you're right. Uh, I, I wish uh, I were there uh, for one reason, because I would like to see if I were there and know what I know now and preach what I've now preached, would I say I'm, I'm going to do one more thing and put my hands on the, on the Bible and swear to do my job, but I'm also going to say I'm going to do it even if I lose the election. All hindsight now, Domenici can only hope those who are in office will take the risk. The budget isn't the only thing on the former senator's mind these days. He's had a chance to reflect on his long time in office and says he does have one big regret. I'm very sad that during my 36 years in office that I didn't just decide to pick an issue like North Korea. And just every day that, that, that I was privileged to be on the floor of the Senate, that I would make a speech uh, challenging North Korea to let their people free. Just pound on them and say, I, I've taken on one sorry-ass part of the world, a sick, pitiful regime. I also asked him about his health, particularly the degenerative brain disease that was a big factor in his decision to retire. He believes he may have been misdiagnosed. What I concluded was that... Uh, that I ought to just go about my normal business and not do anything to make it worse. So that's why Domenici says he's tackling these monumental problems like the debt. That's why he's still giving speeches like this one in Albuquerque earlier this month. And he's still out doing what he always loved doing, talking to people. So that's why I'm talking to you? Good. I'm supposed to do that. I'm supposed to shake it up. You can catch a lot more of my interview with former Senator Pete Domenici this Sunday, March 6th at 10 a.m. And you can see more of his deficit reduction plan online at KOB.com.